Another year goes by. They just go quicker and quicker. Mm, not this one. I, for one, cannot wait to put this one behind me. Champagne? I think I might be needing something with a little more purpose. Excuse me. Thank you. What are you coveting, sweetie? Is it the Dolce? Or what's underneath it? Oh, sorry. I didn't know anyone was in here. I need to freshen up. Your room is actually in the south wing. Miss Davis, I can take you there if you'd oh, like. That's all right, Frank. Uh, you got better things to do. I just left Victoria. She's in quite a state. Yeah, state of suspended animation. So listen, uh, the corporation that owns the deed to David Clark's house has exactly two members, and you're looking at one of them. You and Victoria. Yeah. I should have bulldozed it when I had the chance. The house is a twisted way of hanging on to them. That's perverse, don't you think? Destroy a man you love and then weep for him eternally? I'd be lying if I said I didn't understand at least part of her motivation. When you asked me to back your testimony in David's trial, there's a reason I went along. Yeah, there were a million reasons, if I remember correctly. I never gave a damn about the money. I did it to protect you. Why? Isn't it obvious? I'm sorry. Taking the stand was Clark's secretary, Lydia Davis, whose testimony supported the damning allegations made by Clark's former boss, Conrad Grayson. Grayson's testimony detailed the scheme Clark used to channel money to the terrorists responsible for the downing of Flight 197. All 246 Americans on board that flight were killed. David Clark had everyone fooled, including me. I'm just glad I can help put that monster away. I don't care how good the cause is. If you put up the Van Gogh that Michael and I gave you, I'll kill myself. The Van Gogh is off limits for sentimental reasons. <laughs> how are you holding up? Michael's threatening to put the beach house on the market if I don't release my claim on the West Side walk up. It's bad enough having some stranger renting it out. I can bear the thought of losing it to one of the she wolves. Mm -hmm. Well, then don't let them see your weakness. It's the first thing they'll use against you. else you're staying in. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. So nice to meet you. I can't tell you how much I love it. Me too. Well, hopefully I can make some of my own. So long as we don't have to take it out of your damage deposit. Welcome to the Hamptons. Set it up by the windows, please. I'd like some uh, pepper in my fist. They say vengeance is a dish best served cold. But sometimes it's as warm as a bowl of soup. My father. Now, it feels like summer. <laughs> Champagne? You have to ask. Mm. Conrad? What's wrong? Are you okay? Conrad! Looks like a STEMI. We need to get him in quick. What does that mean? 
Okay. Is he gonna be okay? Ma'am, I need you to step back, please. Where are you taking him? South Fork Hospital. Lydia. Lydia. Yeah. Emily Thorne. Three. My God, is this your husband? Do you need a ride to the hospital? No, I don't. Um, Where have you been hiding yourself? I left three messages for you. Lydia, hi. Oh, don't tell me you've taken up volunteering at the Met as well. <laughs> Emily's running my house. Beach. And then yesterday at the South Fork Inn, I hope your husband's feeling... I'd like to announce the winner of the art auction. My dear friend, Lydia Davis. We won't be going home with the Manet this evening, but with the treasured Van Gogh that hangs in my living room. I thought the Van Gogh was a gift from Lydia and Michael. Lydia has asked me to announce that the beach house she shared with her husband is officially on the market. I'm afraid this will be her final weekend in the Hamptons. Yeah, wherever you end up, I hope that the Van Gogh is a constant reminder of the friendship we shared. Congratulations, Victoria. No one deserves the recognition more than you. Pardon me? This cottage is one of the few things that still connects me to the life that I lost the weekend that I met you. My ex-husband had no legal right to sell. I'm sorry. And what could a girl like you possibly know about loss? If you want to give me your new address, I'd be happy to pack up a few things for you and ship them. I get my life back. And no one, least of all a nosy troublemaker with a penchant for turning my world upside down, is going to get in the way of that. We all have our South Fork in, Emily. I just made it my mission to find yours. Davis? I think. Yeah, all right. Don't send anyone through for the next half hour, Sharon. Sure. Well, I'll return calls when I'm back at the office. So you do still return calls? Lydia, I, I am sorry, Lydia. Really, I, I am, but what can I do about it? You can write me a check. A big one. How kind of stunt are you pulling showing up at my house? I went to see Victoria. It had nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me, huh? Victoria is seething. That's exactly why I went. I'm trying to repair the damage that my relationship with you caused our friendship. A friendship that exists only in your imagination, I assure you. She just needs more time. Rather than making this harder, you might want to think about facilitating a detente for the two of us. A detente? Between my mistress and my wife. Well, if I'm going to get my life back, then I need Victoria to accept me. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Another empty threat? Empty? How does this sound? The Graysons are incredibly powerful, Your Honor. I was intimidated into helping them frame David Clark. Prosecution rests. You're bluffing. Try me. Well done, Lydia. I am so happy that we're friends again. Well, it certainly appears that way, doesn't it? But then again, appearances can be deceiving, can't they? And you've practically made it an art form. Hmm? The warmth you feel is my hatred burning through. Goodbye, Lydia. My husband's waiting for me. What are you doing here? It was all you. Destroying Senator Kingsley, Dr. Banks, 
Harmon, extorting Conrad. You really take this woman's scorn thing seriously, don't you? Mm. Victoria sold us out, didn't she? Yeah, that Harpy's toxic crusade has aroused the interest of a far more dangerous adversary than our government. Conrad, I... I know, it's a lot to ask, so please accept this as a token of my appreciation for your continued loyalty. This is a promise to always keep you out of harm's way as long as we stick together. Now. All I ask in return is your assurance that the door swings both ways. What do you say? <laughs> yes, Conrad. That's not for you. Hello, Victoria. Lydia. <laughs> Ever the opportunist, I see. Hmm. <laughs> What's she doing here? What she does best, using her children as a wedge issue for her. What is it exactly that you came here for, dear? Oh, well then, please allow me to invite you to leave. Oh, well, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, aren't we? I'm calling Conrad. We used to be such good friends, Lydia. What happened? You held me hostage at Grayson Manor after your attack dog threw me off the roof of my own apartment. Well, you certainly have a knack for landing on your feet now, don't you? What are you doing here, Victoria? Conrad's finished with you, and so am I. I am giving you a lifeline. The question is, are you wise enough to accept it? I learned that lesson already. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? Well, in this case, the shame is on all of us. After all these years, the government is quietly building a case against Conrad and his role in the downing of that plane, not to mention what happened to David Clark. And given that you perjured yourself all those years ago in federal court, they're going to be coming after you, too. You did this, didn't you? Well, let's just say I got the ball rolling. And I had the good fortune to secure myself immunity in exchange for my cooperation. And as your friend, I've asked them to grant you the same courtesy. I couldn't help but notice the de Kooning the last time I was here. Conrad had it relocated from his office. He said it was the most important piece in his collection. It isn't worth the canvas it's painted on, and he knows it. I don't understand. It's a forgery. I know because I had it commissioned. And I passed it off on him. That's how we met. The question is, why would Conrad hold on to something that he knows has little value whatsoever? Other than you, of course. <laughs> <laughs>